You know what a good friend once told me? Cobblestone equals life! Yay! Hey everyone, Axel here from Axel Azuli Entertainment here with episode 14 of Stranded Custom Minecraft Survival. Where today, I've had an idea. Not much has changed since episode 13 in uh, Stranded City, but I have had an idea. But before I get to that, May I say happy about, I'm happy about 20 subscribers, as you can see right there. 20 subscribers, booyah, I'm happy, oh yeah. And I've had an idea, guys, for an awesome machine. It's called the Cobble Machine, because I realized that cobblestone equals life, so I thought, how can I make cobblestone equal even life even more? So... I've uh, designed a machine in my head. It's going to be a cool little device. What it's going to do is it's going to have a cobble generator which generates cobblestone. And then a conveyor belt pushes into a special cobble room to break cobble and then collect the cobble. Uh, which So it'll be an AFK cobble farm. But I don't know how to build it because I am horrible of redstone. and oh, I'm tired. Before we get on this, I'm going to... I'll go to bed. Maybe the design will come to me in a dream. <sighs> Maybe in this dream, I'll figure out exactly how to build a cobble machine. And my cobble machine. Because I've never seen a guide for it on the internet. I just came up with the idea. I bet someone's built it before. But oh, I just thought of the idea myself and I've never seen it before. So let's go to bed and see if it comes to me in a dream. <sighs> Nah, nah. Oh, what? Oh, where am I? Whoa, what's this thing? I must be in a dream. I can tell I'm dreaming because my, my fedora changed different colors. You know how they say to tell you're in a, like, a lucid dream? To give yourself, like, a uh, thingy to tell if you're dreaming or not? Uh, mine is my fedora changes colors. Oh, oh my gosh, in my dream I figured this is the cobblestone machine I envisioned in my mind. Oh my gosh. This is how you build it. So, this is exactly what I envisioned. As you can see, we've got a redstone clock over here. And it is continually redstones every once in a while. And here we've got a cobbled gin. So what'll happen is, when we break these blocks, uh, the piston will push forward. And see, the cobblestone gets pushed forward towards me. And the cobbled gin forms a new piece of cobblestone, and that gets pushed. Every time that redstone clock hits that uh, thingy, and then when it gets to be this far, it automatically stops because a piston can only push 12 things at a time. Uh, this is exactly how I envisioned. And the redstone continues and goes down here to this piston, which pushes up. And so as you can see, it's eternally pushing the cobblestone up. So this piece of cobblestone, uh, the original cobblestone thing, pushes it towards this, and this pushes up. Oh, this is exactly how I envisioned it. So, and then once that's done, all this will start going up. And as you can see uh, on my screen, it'll continuously push forward, then up, forward, then up, with it, it, every time the redstone clock goes. And then, whenever it, fin it gets up here, it'll arrive at this thingy, and this is exactly 12 blocks higher, so the cobblestone will not rise any farther and uh so wow uh this is exactly how i imagined it so it eternally pushes up Ooh, let's test if this works in survival mode this is uh this is a great dream i'm having right now uh you know when you're in a dream you can imagine exactly what you want so yeah look every time i break it it replaces itself and therefore it continues working. Some cobblestone may get trapped on the top, but eventually it falls down. And, by, and most of the cobblestone lands in the hoppers. And, and it actually works. I've got three cobble, uh, three cobblestone in there. Now, if I, I can AFK farm, just stand here with my mouse pushed down and AFK cobblestone. This is my dream. I did it. I built the cobblestone uh, machine. My dream is complete. Now I've got to wake up and do this in the real world. And the only way to wake up from a dream like this is to die. We ow. So, see you in the non-dream world. 
Eureka! You guys see that dream I just had? OMG, I figured out how to build the cobble machine. I'm gonna go build it right now. This is gonna be awesome. And I'll catch you guys in a few seconds. I gotta go build this before I forget this dream. See you in a minute. And I finished building the cobble machine, guys. It took me a few Minecraft days, but I successfully built the cobble machine. Uh, I took a few Minecraft days off camera building it. So let's go see this cool thing. And for some reason, my frame rate is probably the lowest it's been the entire series. I have no exact clue why. I've just turned down all my settings, but the lag is still there. So I guess it's just because I have the worst computer known to humanity. I can't even open a fence gate. Are you serious? Okay. You gonna let me through? <laughs> and the chunks down there still haven't even loaded. Let me close the gate. Close you. You will close. I demand it. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else I can do to make the lag better? Put down my ch render distance to three chunks. Drop my max thingy. Uh... And to see shadows off. And boom. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Clouds are fancy. I want them fast. And booyah. Now we don't have lag anymore. We still have a bit of lag. But let's go down into the underground base. Oh my gosh, I have had alternate blocks on for such a long time. <laughs> Everything looks weird now. Oh my gosh, those slime blocks look weird. Oh my goodness gracious, that is a very weird texture. I've never seen that before, that texture. Well, let's go. Let's go look at the cobble machine. Do, 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 do. And, ba-boom, the cobble machine. Now, as you can see, whenever I break this cobblestone, the cobble will go into the hopper, and a new cobble will replace it. And a new one will come up. I break it. And a new one comes up, and I break it, and a new one comes up, and this just goes on forever. I could go AFK and just get cobblestone for days. And you may be asking, it can't have gotten too much cobblestone of this. Well, I've only had this cobblestone for a few Minecraft days, and look what I got from it. Boom! Lots of cobblestone. And you may be wondering, why did I look at one wall when I was walking in here? Because I did something else in addition to uh, building this cobble machine. I built, I fixed the automation room. Oh yeah. Now, as you may remember, the automation room was a bunch of chests and a bunch of hoppers leading into it. And I always knew it was ugly and I was going to fix it in the future and make it all nice. And I finally did it, guys. Look at this thing. You got... It's still all the same. You got your sugar cane in here. You got your iron in here. As you can see, I've been farming a crap ton of iron. Uh, you got your slime balls up here. And a lot of feathers. And look how much chicken I've got. That's a lot of chicken. If I, if I know anything, I know that that's probably a good amount of chicken I got there. And yeah, so I finally built this all nice and stuff. But to show you some more, I'll show you some behind-the-scenes stuff. This says, do not enter, it's the maintenance room. So I'm going to show you guys the secret maintenance room where it's not pretty or anything. This is a special glance. This is the machine we got. As you can see, it's still pretty much the same. We got the whole thing. Now we've got this wall here. And I built it out of the red sandstone because I absolutely adore the texture for red sandstone. It's amazing. And as you know, I had way too much sugarcane. Literally, all these hoppers were full. And it was just a, the up to this hopper were all full. And I was like, oh crap, this is going to overflow and break the entire system. The entire thing is going to break because it's going to start overflowing. So, I decided to divert the flow. As you can see, this guy goes into this chest. And now I've got a proper place to store all of this sugarcane. It goes down, it goes down, it goes down. It goes down, it goes down, it goes down, it goes down, all the way to here. And I'm already almost filled up the first double chest since I built it. So I've got a lot of sugar cane. And now I have enough storage so that I will have all the sugar cane in Minecraft. And everybody will be like, hey Axel, can I have some of your sugar cane? Because you have all, literally all the sugar cane ever in Minecraft. And they'll be like, sir, you can have a double chest full. Because by that time, I'll have 50 million chests filled to the brim with sugarcane. Because sugarcane equals life. 
and now that's pretty cool. So if you like this, uh, you could go check out my previous episodes. I have a whole episode showing this uh, thingy off. Uh, I've got my whole sorting system down here. And if you guys are new, this is my automated room uh, for all my automated farms feed into this room and all go into these chests. But the main focus of the episode, the cobblestone machine, is done. The only problem is this thing I dug down and it goes right into my slime chunk where I have the slime farm. But that gives me more of an uh, so part of my slime farm is destroyed, but it's still pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed this, my first redstone creation that I've done without a guide, all by myself. I'm starting to learn, but as you can see, isn't it pretty cool? One cobblestone just cut, pops up right there forever because of piston mechanics. And you can just break the cobblestone and have a grand old time. Well... If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, a comment, and maybe even subscribe to join the actual empire. Uh, leave in the comments what I should do next. I'm actually starting to kind of run out of ideas. I want to make more farms, but I've just about done all the starter farms, so I'm going to have to start doing the really advanced redstone craze farms. Uh, so until next time, I'm Axel from Axel Azuli Entertainment, and goodbye!